So, one of the things that AMD has been really proud of when it comes to the new Radeon 6000 graphics cards is what they're calling AMD Smart Access Memory, which is supposed to magically increase your performance, especially at higher resolutions. But what exactly is it? How does it work? And how will it improve your performance? Well, that's what I'll be explaining in this video, so buckle up because it's actually a pretty interesting feature. So basically, this will be a new feature that will be available to people who have a Ryzen 5000 CPU with possible support for Ryzen 3000 CPUs coming in the future, and also for people who have a Radeon 6000 series graphics card and an X570 or B550 motherboard. And if you have all three, when those new products from AMD were launched, then congratulations, you'll be able to use AMD Smart Access Memory. And here's how it basically works. So before, as standard, CPUs could only access a total of 256 megabytes of a graphics card's VRAM at any one time, which means that before the CPU had to do a lot of ring back and forth via the PCIe bus to get all the information needed from the VRAM. However, what AMD Smart Access Memory does is basically allows the CPU to access the whole pool of the 16 gigabytes of VRAM that the new Radeon 6000 cards have to offer at any one time, which is a lot less bottlenecking from the CPU and also for the graphics cards VRAM. So why is that important? Well, naturally, that's more data that the CPU can access at any one time, but it's also particularly important at higher resolutions where the data flow is much higher and the VRAM usage is much, much higher because of all the extra data that has to be stored for each scene. Because remember, at 4K, that's over four times as much data as with a simple 1080p display. And so far, we've been seeing actually pretty good improvements in performance with this technology turned on. At least that's what the official reports of AMD seem to suggest. However, one thing to keep in mind is that it also depends on how developers of the games implement this technology. Because before, many developers simply designed everything around that 256 and megabyte limit. Because, well, no one else did it any other way. So all developers simply had to work around that bottleneck. But now that it's no longer a bottleneck, plus they'll have up to 16 gigs of VRAM at their disposal of these new graphics cards so they can make some really, really complex scenes with that thing. Well, not only will it allow for way more intricate scene design, but also, of course, overall improvement in performance as the CPU can simply access more of that data. And we've been seeing amazing numbers from AMD already, and that's before developers even start optimizing for this new technology that's coming with the Radeon graphics cards. So that's really exciting. But of course, it also creates incentive for people to pick up both a Radeon card and a Ryzen CPU, both of course from AMD. So it's a convenient way for them to make some nice extra money from that as well. So with this technology and all the other ways that AMD really pushed the performance with the brand new Radeon 6000 graphics cards, well, they're looking up to some amazing competition to NVIDIA and the RTX 3000 graphics cards. I have a whole video already out about all the stuff they announced at that Radeon presentation. It's coming up in the iCards. I highly recommend you check it out. But I hope that now you know what AMD Smart Access Memory is and why you should probably be excited for it and why it could be a very important thing to consider when planning out your new rig to ensure you have all the parts you need to actually get to work. So if you found this video helpful, then definitely check out my Patreon, because hey, it really does go a long way helping out the channel. Even one dollar month goes a long way. And also to my patrons, Gavin Burns and LKB. Really, thank you so, so much. It really does mean a lot. Then there you should find our Amazon links. If you use our links, if you buy anything from Amazon, you don't pay anything extra. We get some money. It's a win-win. I will link them to some nice B550 boards so you're ready for AMD Smart Access Memory when it launches. Then there's also my Discord if you want to talk to me as I dissolve but of else really. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.